Oh, yeah. That's Coldplay, everybody. And we are in my car. And you are watching me have some terrible dance moves. But wait, here we go. Do, 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 do. We are talking about sound today, everybody, because Facebook rolled out three new features that should change your video marketing strategy. Is it at the refrain yet? This would be perfect timing and all right, there you go. For my for my viewer, this is my my awesome dance moves. Thank you viewers out there for giving me that. Um, okay, so I'm gonna get out of my car so we can finish talking about these three new features. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Michelle Berto. I am a former television news anchor, and now I teach small business owners, just like you, how to look good and sound good on video and how to get on TV for free. See, that was my garage, everybody. We could close that now. <laughs> So here are the things that I wanted to talk to you about because they're a pretty big deal and Facebook just rolled this out around February and it's still in the process of being thought through so it may not populate yet on your feed but it will and they're a pretty big deal. So I want to show you first. Uh, this is my feed. I'm going to switch the camera around so you can see. So the first thing I mentioned was sound and music. And that's going to be awesome for you because it'll be a great tool. So what do I mean by this? So the first thing that Facebook is doing is that as you scroll through your feed and you see a video, you're actually going to be able to hear the video, like this is a video, you'll actually be able to hear this video as you scroll through. So what does that mean for you as you create these awesome Facebook Lives and awesome videos? Is that I've been telling you this all along that you need to make sure that you are paying attention to the first three seconds of your video. See what I did there when we were in the car? That was planned. My terrible dance moves were planned because I wanted to emphasize the fact that those first three seconds are going to be your chance to engage with an audience that may otherwise scroll past your video if they don't like the frame that is your, the, your viewer, the frame that is going to be presented on the news feed. So now they're going to be able to hear you and you're going to have the chance to engage with them even faster. So that's the first thing that they're going to be doing. Hey Lou, so good to see you. Okay, so the second thing that Facebook is going to be doing is, hold, wait for it, wait for it. Lou's going to hate this. Woo, woo. Go on the roller coaster with me, people. There's a reason why I'm doing this. Vertical video. Yes. So apparently Facebook is going to be helping us all out by producing uh, the videos in a way that are gonna have us be able to use vertical video because how many times have you picked up your phone and you're like this? Well, of course, because we use our phone this way, vertically, to talk to people and to text. So it's unnatural for many of us to make sure that we're like this during video, but we have to be right now until Facebook makes those changes. So that's something awesome that's gonna be in the wings for us. So we have sound, we have vertical video. And the last thing that I wanted to bring your attention to is the fact that now, here, let's look at my feed again, that now you can scroll through your feed and click on a video and w watch it. I could watch, uh-oh, this is not good PR for United Airlines, by the way. But I could watch this video and now I'm gonna be able to pull it to the side and you could actually have a little window here that continues with our video and you could go back to your newsfeed and scroll up and down. Now, why is that important to you as a video marketer? Well, this is a big deal because you should be seeing more, bit more viewership on your videos in a complete fashion. So. Long story short, they're gonna watch the rest of your video, right? We wanna see under insights the fact that people are watching your video from beginning to end. So that's a pretty big deal. So we have sound, now we're gonna use sound. 
right, to engage at the top of our video. We have vertical video, which you definitely wanna make sure that that is happening before you start using it. And we have the fact that we could scroll through our newsfeed, put our video to the side, and continue to scroll again. And us as content creators, that's important because our insights should have our numbers increase for the amount of viewers that are completing our videos. If that's not the case, then we know that we need to take the bull by the horns and say, okay, the middle of my video at about four minutes in or so, I don't know, I may get boring. I have to look at that to make sure when I'm planning out my live videos, see how this is all coming together for you, that you're able to engage throughout the entire video. So if you want a worksheet on everything that we just discussed about all of these three new features that are gonna be rolling out on Facebook, I have it for you. You could log on to my website, michelleberto.com, and sign up for free media tips, and then you could get the video of all of these different strategies that Facebook is rolling out for us and the worksheet so that you could actually do something with this information. How many times have you watched an online course and you never did anything with the info? I don't want that to be you. I want you to actually use this in your business. So again, that's Michelle Berto, M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E-B-U-R-D-O.com. Click on free media tips and then you could get that worksheet this week when I distribute this. All right, guys, thank you so much. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at michelle at michelleberto.com because we have one more week. Next week, we are wrapping up this Facebook Live package for you with how to have more viewership on your Facebook Live videos. How do you grow your audience? It's the million dollar question. It's hard work but we're gonna get there together. All right, guys, I'll see you next Tuesday, and I'm sorry I was a little late this week. Next Tuesday, two o'clock, you and me, it's a date. I'll see you guys then. Bye, guys.